Hey, Drew here, and I'm lucky enough to unbox today the DJI Osmo Action 3 camera. We're gonna go over a few features that I personally love, the quality it shoots in 4K, water resistant, as well as the battery life. Let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. This here is the adventure combo. As you can see, DJI put over here some directions here. Here are the guidelines, slide this off to the side. This here is the battery pack, the chargeable. As you can see, if it's green, it means it's charged. One is obviously missing because one is in the camera. We'll get into that later. Each one of these batteries lasts 160 minutes, just about. So whether you're blogging, whether you are uh, on the go, if you only happen to have one battery, it should last you for a nice amount of time. Your standard USB-C cable right here. We'll put this aside. This right here is what we all came to see, the DJI Osmo Action 3 camera. This is the adhesive mount right here. This is where you can put the Osmo Action 3 camera on top of. So we'll put this aside. Here are our magnetic mounts. Can't wait to show you how these work. Here's a protective case that goes over the Osmo Action 3 camera. And it comes with two screws. If you're like me, you need two screws because one of these is going to go missing. So here's this. Put this aside. And then one of my favorite features that we have is the extension. And we will get into this later as well too, as you can see. I'm gonna box some of these things up and we're gonna get into the details of the camera. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the camera shooting 4K at 120 frames per second. So if you're like me, you have a little one, he should be walking any day soon. If you wanna get those smooth, slow-mo video clips, this would be the perfect camera for that. Or if you're going scuba diving and you wanna get some slow-mo underwater B-roll footage, or if you're shooting a wedding and you wanted to attach this to a, a gimbal or something, get some slow-mo with that, you can do that as well too. Another great feature is that's two touch screens on this camera. One in the front, which is great for you shooting selfies so you can see what you look like, and one on the back for framing your shot, going through menus, going back and forth between whether you wanted to stream or whether you wanted to shoot just video or photos. Here on the side, this is where the battery would go, and this little piece right here is where the micro SD card would go to as well. This is the input for the, the USB-C cord right here, and this bottom part, which I can't wait to get into, is this is where you'll attach the magnetic mounts to. And we'll get into this right now. So, you attach this to, just like so, and it's on here. Like, pretty secure, no other extra tools needed. It's attached right here, and it's magnetic, so that's neat as well. Right here, as you can see, this is our extension rod, which I really do enjoy too. And you attach this on top by just sliding this, like so. And with just one screwdriver, you don't need a bunch or any additional tools. You will just attach it. And screw. It's super duper secure, and the neat thing about it, you could even extend it out. Once again, Drew here, and we just unboxed the DJI Osmo Action 3 camera. I'm gonna head out and go take some photos of my son. If you have any questions, feel free to hit the link below. Peace.